What's going on guys? Blazing here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you for joining me on another raid Shadow Legends video. Alright, so everybody keeps talking about how easy is it to stay in gold 4. Alright, so we're going to find out. I have literally let everybody beat on me through the whole week, right? I've taken some losses on my defense. Just had a one-man defense up until maybe the last 20 minutes. And I just put my defense in, right? So we've got Taras Marichka, Warlord, Kimmy as our second team. We have Duchess, Sifi, uh, UDK, and Rodos as our first team. And then we have our Cupidus, Venus, Necret with Wither, right? So we've put the team in. We're going to start the fights. We're at 108 points. We need to get up to 1,000, right? So we do have some one-man teams here. We're going to take everything we can, and we're going to try to see, can we hit the 1,000 points, which is what we're going to need to stay in. And then will we be able to stay in by the end of reset? So let's start. Fight should be pretty easy. At some point, I'm just going to turn off the camera and just kind of go through it and let you guys see. So, um, yeah. There we go. By the way, who has 12 Death Knights at level 60? Come on. <laughs> I mean, unless this is... Uh, unless this is just... I mean, it's a pure troll. We know that. But I'm just thinking it might be, um, what's it called? Layla Fox's account because she's got a thing for Dead Knight. So we'll see. Is it Layla? No, it's not. Um, all right. So I'm going to turn the camera off and uh, continue going. And uh, hopefully, you know, by the end of this, shouldn't be too long. We'll see how long it takes. All right. Thank you. 
All right, so we are currently now at 830 points. Um, our defense, we haven't taken any losses yet in the last, uh, looks like 52 minutes that we have had going on. Now we did take some losses in attack, but um, let's see here now. We're gonna need 170 points, right? So we are looking to take on some big hitters, right? Anything that's gonna reward us more points. So like this guy right here, right? Beowulf, he's gonna reward us 12 points per fight. So we're gonna go ahead and take him on. Um, we'll go ahead and go with our, uh, yeah, we'll go with that team there, bring this team down, and that seems pretty good. Let's see, can we, you know, can we win? So, best case scenario, we win every fight. Uh, worst case scenario, we lose two or one, but we don't lose a lot of points for it, right? Okay. She'll get the shield up. That's perfectly fine. Okay. So, first fight. Looks like we're going to win. No problems. Just got to get rid of that Duchess. Who builds a crit rate on their Kaimar? Just saying. Just saying. There we go. All right. Let's see. Lockout here. That's perfectly fine. Stun the Uko. Okay. It's perfectly fine. Put her to sleep. Stun on him. Uh, provoke on her. Oof, that was close. Cannot lie. All right, let's go ahead. Half rat first, then Yumiko. That's fine. Uh, we'll hold that. Rotos A one here, A three here. Cool. Right. Can't steal any of our buffs. There we go. Turn meter boost. Locked out. Uh, let's go after the Rotos first. Speed boost again. Take him out and take them out. Cool. Done. All right, so this should award us 36 points, I think, since it was 12 per fight. Yes, 36 points, so 866, right? Not too shabby. All right, so let's go and let's see what else we have here that's going to yield us yield point. Now, see, this guy's only going to yield us 9. This guy's only going to yield us 8, 9, 10. So this guy right here is going to yield us, uh, looks like 11, and so is this guy. All right, so let's go ahead with the big guys. Go ahead. Um, Arbiter, Arbiter. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use the lock on them with the monkey. Face that off. Yep, I'm good with that theme. So we did take some losses right in the start, um, and it was it was kind of bad. That that your Carl team that took me by surprise. I cannot lie, guys. That was kind of like wow. What the heck is going on here? Um. Didn't even get to take a turn. That was the double to Ross team that was kind of going at it. Okay, let's go after the Duchess. Now, obviously, I don't want to touch more to, right? Let's see if we can strip off some of the buffs. All right. And then we did take some losses with some block revives, right? So when that was happening, we just kind of said, okay, we're done here, right? No point in, in, in staying in the fight if we already know we're going to lose because of the block revive. She was too quick. I think if I can get one good A2 here, we'll be fine.
Right, here we go. Ooh. Definitely need that increase attack. I can't. I can only say that much. All right. Luckily, that Mortu has not popped Peril yet. If he does, we may be in problem. Let's put him to Sheep. He seems to be my biggest issue right now, so we're not too concerned. All right, we got polymorphed. That's fine. As long as our UDK doesn't get polymorphed, because then that Rotos might eat us up. All right, here we go. Boom, one. Boom, two. Go after that Rotos. Okay, we can proc it. We got our trusty UDK with us, right? All right. More to see you later. All right. What do we got here? Do we risk it for the biscuit? Let's get rid of this Valk. Lock out. Nope. Ooh, an Uko and Provoke set. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I... I mean, that's a Hydra build, so... Maybe. A2 Pythion. Cool. Now to Ross. Is done. Alright, so we're 899. So I think if we do about two or three more fights, we should be fine. Let's go with this one next. We'll keep that one there. That one looks like a speed team. Um... So we'll go up one, and we'll go it like this way. It's okay. The nice part about the double Taras team is if, even if we get locked out, we're perfectly fine. And that's a win for us. Now, some of you might have noticed my neck grit is not very slow. And that's because I don't like to run a soft neck grit, meaning I don't want him running very slow, right? All right, so let's go ahead and take out CP. Cool. Let's go ahead and take out him. A2 him, A1 him. You got nothing on us. All right. All right, so now it's just as simple as taking out the Marichka as soon as everybody comes back up. We basically A2 with our Georgid, and we win. Put the CP down. Her out. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of him. Now, Godfred's going to be a problem for us. So we're going to open up. There we go. We baited that out, which is exactly what we wanted to do. We'll go ahead and buff ship. Awesome. All right, A2 here. Let's go ahead and get rid of him first because we know he's going to be an easy target. Necrit next. All right. Let's go ahead. All right. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Not gonna lie, Goffred is actually one of those ones that kind of scares me because he could hurt, right? Coming in with the stun, AoE, uh, plus that block damage, kind of strong, right? Oh no, you took out my monkey. All right, here we go. 
right, 932. So if we do one more fight. Um, we should be good. There's too many low ones here. So I'm going to go ahead and spend the 15 gems and reset. All right, now we got this guy right here. Um, let's go that right there. Actually, yes, this looks good. It's okay. Go ahead and take out Steltus. Because we're not really worried about much. Uh, let's use the A2 here. So we're going to open up with that. All right, now we can go ahead and buff strip. CC the C fee. Let's get her out of here. Let's get our torment out of here. Stultus is no fun. All right, now this is just a, a win for us. So obviously when you're going and trying to get the wins, you want to try to take whatever you're going to be able to win. And make sure that it is a um, as many points as possible, right? Oof. Ordinarily, that would kill your Arbiter. Right? Um, so we'll go ahead and protect her there. Turn meter boost. Let's go ahead and kill him. Kill him. That Necrit is too slow. Okay, go ahead, kill Necrit next. A1, A2, and boom. So, so far we're what, 45 gems? No, 40 plus the 15 plus the one refill. Now, I could have probably done some of my arena, uh, Faction War stuff and got it out, out of the way then. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I wanted to get the video done. Um, because we will be pushing Plat Arena tonight. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to record the Plat Arena pushes, um, if you're interested in it. Nine thirty-five. That was another thirty-six points. I feel like one more fight should be good. Let's take on this guy. Um, he's got a Hegemon, so we're gonna bring him down here because our Rotos will be able to open up. Um, the question is, which one of these is his speed team? I'm guessing because he's got more uh, CC here that this is not the speed team. But this six star does kind of worry me, right? So chances are we'll probably end up losing one. This looks like a little more high crit damage. So we'll go ahead and do it this way. See if he looks to be interesting because she's got a two star polymorph. Okay. Okay, go ahead, cleanse. That's fine. Now, <laughs> not sure why he stripped with Kaimar and didn't block debuffs, but hey, it is what it is. All right, are they faster? Yes, they are. Okay. All right, so we can go ahead and lock out. Get rid of him first. Get rid of her then them. I love it when Rotos procs because it is a lot of fun. Okay, let's go ahead and get him out of here. Pythia on sleep. Go nighty night. Don't let the bad buds bite. Dad jokes. Dad jokes. See you, Venus. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put that on auto. I doubt that we're going to lose this far, right? Um, although it does suck Pythons being negative affinity, so we're not landing a lot of crits. Did he just put Brimstone on me? Who had Brimstone? 
Interesting, Venus. All right. So there we have it, 971 points. That is more than enough for me to stay in gold one, uh, gold four, sorry. Uh, defense, still pretty solid. We took one loss here. That's interesting. They went with a double. Um, that, that is very interesting here. They went with a blender comp. Interesting here as well, two dwarfs. So for his first team against this one, he went with a blender comp. Very interesting. Okay. I mean, my CF is not that fast, but I thought that's just what I came in with uh, the passive there. And she is in bolster, so interesting. Um, team two, he came in with Herndig, survivability. I, like I said, the dwarf is dangerous there. So team two was my warlord. So yeah, I, I could see that, but I, I don't think he would be that fast. So, and then team three. He came in against my, yeah, which probably my most crappiest team. So, <laughs> all right. Um, I guess what we're going to have to do is wait till tomorrow when reset happens. And I'll be back then and we'll kind of go through and see if I stayed in gold four. Um, now, let me show you guys my last attack fight, right? Which was, again, up against this guy. So, not going to do any more fights. We'll see if we can keep it up. So, we'll be back later. All right, guys, so the moment of truth is here. It is Monday morning. Uh, we are going to see, did we make gold four? Were we able to stay? Did we do enough work? Was it easy like everybody says? So we are still currently in gold four, right? We're collecting the rewards. Defense logs. Let's see, did we get hit? Um, it looks like we got one, two hits, right? So it looks like, yeah, naturally, no, we didn't get hit at all because this is the same guy that hit us before. And you guys could see attack. I didn't hit anyone else. So let me know what you guys think. Is gold four easy? Trying to get up to gold four is the problem, right? When you have an account that can do it, yeah, it, it seems easy. You can say that it's easy, but in the end, will everybody, you know, try <laughs> everybody who's trying to get to that point, will they be able to do it? Because I don't know. Um, you know, you guys did see it. There was a lot of one man defenses, right? So speaking about that, let's make sure we put in our one man defenses because, you know, why not make it so that our, you know, rest of the community can farm out what they need to. So we'll go ahead and put in the three rare champions. By the way, if you guys already haven't been doing that, you should throughout the week, right? Depending on the level you are, maybe switch it up on Friday and say, I'm going to go and put in my, you know, regular team and try to farm out their weekend depending on the elos you are but yeah one man defenses throughout the week just just make it easier for yourself right get those quests done but yeah it was not um you know not that difficult it took us almost an hour hour and 15 minutes to get it done on sunday night right before reset so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you guys want to see uh you know the progression trying to go from you know bronze up to gold four with one of my alt accounts I'm more than happy to do it and you know we can kind of go through all the accounts and you guys can let me know which one you want me to do it on but as always guys much love much appreciation be safe be well be good to each other and I'll catch you guys on the next one